All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back once again doing my second moto vlog. I got a pretty good response from the first one, and I appreciate everyone who watched, subscribed, and checked it out. Love each and every one of y'all. Today, as I talked about in my last video, I'm on the Colonial Parkway out here in Jamestown, Virginia. It actually stretches from Jamestown, Virginia out to Yorktown, Virginia, and we'll get to see all that. It's, it's a beautiful road. It's, it's not many cars out here and everything, and you get a little bit of everything from the trees, water, all that. It's, uh, it's like its own little world, in my opinion. That's why, it's, that's why it's one of my favorite roads to ride. And as you can see, even with the uh, coronavirus scare going on out here in America, you still got people out here enjoying the day. And I mean, that's relaxing, man. And that's, that's beautiful to see. I just feel like I'm away from everything out here. But what's a motor vlog without a motorcycle? So once again, back on the old road stuff. And we're gonna get going and rolling on two wheels. This road is actually about like, it takes me about 45 minutes just to get here. And um, yeah. But it is worth every mile. So let's get it rolling. As I said, this road starts in Jamestown, Virginia. You can actually come right over the ferry off of Route 10, ride the ferry over, which is the even better thing. I'm sure I'll show you all that in another one of my videos. But you take the ferry right over. As soon as you come off the ferry, take a right, swing on down through Jamestown, and you jump right on the Colonial Parkway. It's a beautiful road. It's been around for a while. As I said in the other video, it's not many cars. And it is. It's like its own world out here. And I love it. Every time I ride, I just want to come out this way. And today is about 65 degrees. I'm in short sleeve shirts. Uh, really wish I would have wore like a sweater or something. It would have been a little better. But whatever, I'm out here and I'm enjoying the ride. So what I'm doing, I'm actually riding out here and I'm heading over to see Hampton Roads, Harley Davidson. Uh, see what they got going on over there. Might do some video while I'm there. Like I said, this road, it has a combination of water, trees, all that good stuff. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna pass this dude. And of course you have the, you know, the one problem with this road, when you do get cars on this road, people like to, especially if they haven't seen it before, they like to just kind of take their time and cruise. And <laughs> I got a real surprise for you on this road too. You guys definitely, if you're out here, come check this road out. But um, one of my favorite parts about this road is there's a tunnel. And the tunnel, it actually goes right underneath Williamsburg, Virginia. And we'll be coming up on that soon. It's got these lovely arches too, you know, the bridges. One of these is 95. That might be, no, that's not the 95 bridge. Or, sorry, 64. This road, it takes about... I'd say 30, say about 30 minutes to complete, depending on how fast you're going. Um, I say take your time and enjoy it, really. This will be one of the videos where I'm not like speed racing around. And, but yeah, I'm probably gonna edit, cut out a little couple pieces because I know y'all don't wanna watch the 30 minute video. But look at that view, man. It's nice. Then I had, I had one of the, um, the viewers in the comments on my last video they actually made the comment that i think they're up in new jersey they said they would they would kill or give their left nut for roads like this and i mean we have a tons tons of roads like this in virginia and i'm gonna do my best to show them all to you oh yeah here we go guys they actually just closed this tunnel off to clean it and everything 
All right, hold on. I'm, I might have to open the bass for this one. Sweet, sweet music. Oh, that that is that is worth the drive out here. Just that tunnel right there. <laughs> oh man. See a grown man turn into a little kid, send him through a tunnel on a motorcycle. <laughs> But yeah, so we actually just went under Williamsburg and there's like the old Williamsburg courthouse there and we actually just drove up under all that, which I think is kind of cool. Now last year on this road, or last year, I got, I did a couple of group rides. And we, I think the most we had was like 20 people, so it's nothing huge, but we brought them all out here and everybody had a good time. It's a good ride and leaving from my neck of the woods and coming out here and then heading back it actually takes about it, it takes all day really which i mean there's nothing wrong with that it's a good day ride so oh wait 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 crack a lacking hey and for those like i had some people who were interested in the um and buying a roadster definitely get one and i know somebody said they were looking at like the 2020s and stuff like that hey look I i'll be honest with you the i think they started making them in like 2016. so there's they've changed nothing from 2016 to 2020 so unless it's like a color a specific color or something you're trying to get get whatever year you want because they're pretty much all the same and if you do do the cafe bars, which I'm pretty sure Harley Davidson discontinued them, but if you do end up doing them, you can buy the gauge relocation piece or whatever. Just buy the filler plug. The filler plug goes right in there where your old handlebars used to go. 20 bucks. Saves you a whole lot of money. In my opinion, it actually looks better. Gives it like a little accent to it. So I'm not talking too much. I'm gonna go ahead and spice to like where the water is and everything up here. Historic York Town, there we go. Beautiful little town, quiet town. Right, I come in there with my loud Harley. You usually see like deer running around here and everything. Stop for a second. So that's the monument. It's called Victory Monument. Let's go read about it. So, so basically this monument was to celebrate the victory of the surrender of Cornwallis out here, Earl Cornwallis. And um, yeah, it's like I said, a lot of history out here, all around Virginia, which is great. We used to go be able to go down that hill over there. I think they're working on something, but yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful background. Let's go. Let's get back on the road. So yeah, you used to be able to go down that hill down there, 
and like it's like an awesome view as you go down it's just beautiful very historic down here Williamsburg about looks like this too Very nice place. Very quiet, and I'm down here on my Harley making a lot of noise. <laughs> um, let's see. Just coast on down the hill. Takes you out right by the water. Beautiful bridge. It's a beautiful place to come check out. Take the guys down this way real quick. I'll show you guys. I'm going to show y'all the Yorktown Pub. If you're going to come down here and hang out and eat, definitely check this one out. So that's the Yorktown pub right there. Good place to eat. And you usually go down there and park. Let me bust you in. And then from here guys, well, let's see. I usually come down here, walk around, enjoy the sights. Cool bridge. <laughs> Obviously, I love the bridge. And we're gonna go right up under it. They got like two or three nice restaurants right there. These three guys are always standing around, just looking at each other for some reason. There's plenty of free parking over there, so make sure you stop in. Nice parking deck. This is some museum. I've actually never gone in there and checked it out. Waters, Watersman Museum. So, but Yorktown, like I said, it's a, it's a very, very quiet, small, beautiful town. So. See. They get the Revolutionary Museum. I'll take y'all up there to it. So you go right up here. It's right on top of this hill. it is the American Revolutionary Museum of Yorktown go check it out and I like this too this is always fun to play around on we can get some speed So I'm going to jump back on the parkway and head on home. Thank you guys for watching. I might have to open the bass for this one.